I honestly just look at a scene and try to play the scene the way, play the scene right. I mean, we were talking about what these guys write and what we know and what they tell us, you know, and they don't tell us much. They tell Jack something and some of it filters through to us. I remember at the beginning of season five, I was standing on the beach with Zuleika and I was having a, the best mango I'd ever eaten. Mm. And I had been killed by Ben and I said I remembered being dead, but I, I remember talking to Jack and go like, I, I'm just gonna assume I'm indestructible here. Should I go with that? <laughs> <laughs> and Jack said, yeah, yeah, go with that. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> no, honestly, I just look at the, I just look at, you know, I guess you make a distinction uh, whether you're playing lock in a wheelchair in, the, in, a, in, a, in a completely vulnerable person or somebody who is the exact opposite and completely apparently invulnerable. Uh, it, uh, it, I don't know, it doesn't see, can you explain this? <laughs> Michael's really good at explaining this stuff. <laughs> Could you do I, I think what Terry is trying to say <laughs> is that some, sometimes it's not up to us. If, if we just follow the path of the words, we will almost as if by magic or accident hit upon the right playing of the character or the other character. <laughs> Depending. <laughs> do you, are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is where we got the idea of Dogen and his translator. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I have a, like, you guys obviously spend a lot of time, you know, Jack was saying you guys are working so hard. Are, do you watch the show or is it something that you, like when you do it, then you put it away and you like, are, like you know, so I know certain people don't like to watch their own performances. Are you guys, do you watch the show? I haven't never missed uh, an episode. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, I didn't watch, I didn't like to watch myself very much before Lost, but I like watching, I do. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think because of what they've written and what Jack's done and what the directors have done and the, the actors that I get to work with have made me a lot better at what I do than I felt like I was before. Yeah. So, yeah. That goes in, do you watch, do you watch the show? I, I watch it every week. I, it, it'd be like if you did a, a painting but never allowed yourself to look at the finish. Right. You know, and I, I, do, I do agree that it takes a while to come to terms with how odd you look in three dimensions. <laughs> and, you know, sound. You know, because we're all used to looking at ourselves in the mirror. We, we see our faces, but only this flat way. And uh, it's so alarming to look at yourself in, you know, see the back of your head or over your... <laughs> Or the, the, the funny way your mouth moves when you talk. <laughs> so one of the, I, I, I make myself watch it so that I can get past that. <laughs> and to hear your voice, which is all. all oh. Yeah, because your, your yeah. voice sounds. Occasionally the, the, the sound mixer will play, you'll, you'll be on a set and you'll hear the sound mixer playing some, something back, a take, and they'll be playing it back and you hear your voice and it's awful. <laughs> it's awful, you always sound terrible, you talk too fast and your voice is too high. <laughs> So, do you, you watch the show? I do. I do watch the show. Um, same thing. I mean, it took me a while in my career to actually be able to get to that point where I could watch, watch myself because of all the aforementioned reasons. Right. And um, yeah, I do. Yeah, now, uh, Nestor, you've been on a bunch of different shows. You've been, you've been on some actually from broad comedies, from like The Tick and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and suddenly Susan and now, you, you know, and, and a, 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 a bunch of other things, but some very broad kind of comedy. Yeah. And now, like, uh, is there a way that you like watching yourself kind of like, the, like on this show, you're kind of this mystic badass in a way. Like, I mean, it, is it Although, fun to watch yourself in a different light? Right. I, I always watch myself like this because I can't, you know, I can't bear to watch myself. But, but I do, I watch the show. I'm a fan of the show. I mean, it's, it's, a, this is a show that's broken so much ground in so many ways. And, um, I'm a huge fan, um, but um, is it different from the broad comedies? Absolutely, but there is so much, as we were talking before, there's so much comedy in, in, in every show, you know, um, and sometimes it's accidental, like me running away from Sawyer after warning him about law. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but that's sort of the beauty of the show, is that you can find comedy in the drama, and, there's, and, and that's, 
to me, what is the beauty of, of acting in general. It's just finding things all the time. Um, but I've, I've always felt that there's, it's always good to have a little bit of element of drama in comedy, and, and, the, and the reverse works as well. Always nice to find the comedy. A little the, black and white. Yeah.